Welcome back. Now, St. Catherine's Monastery in Egypt's Sinai Desert is the world's oldest continually operating monastery, known to academics and theologians around the world for its vast library of ancient texts. Well, now a project is underway to reveal hidden texts under the manuscripts. They were scrubbed away thousands of years ago. Well, Professor Nicholas Pickwood has worked with the library for nearly 20 years. He's here joining me in the studio. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, why did people think, first of all, that there were hidden texts under the manuscripts that you could actually see? Well, it's not an uncommon feature of medieval manuscripts. Parchment was a very expensive material. It's the skins of animals. It takes a long time to prepare. And when manuscripts need to be written, they will, sometimes they took old manuscripts which were no longer thought to be of, of particular value at the time, scraped or washed as much of the old ink off as possible and wrote over on top of it. Uh, and this you'll find all over Europe and you'll find it also particularly in places like St. Catharines. Because it's in a desert location, materials are hard to come by so they recycle almost everything. So it was recycling in its yep. earliest form. That's absolutely yep. fascinating. Tell me a little more about how this team actually did it actually found what was underneath. Yep. Well, you can see a certain amount with the naked eye. You can see traces of writing, traces of images uh, between the, the overtext, as it's called, the text written on top. And once you've seen that, you know that you can investigate further. And using the, the modern techniques of multispectral imaging, they can show the shine uh, lights of different wavelengths onto the ink and it will pick up the differences and in the camera. And that's what you're seeing there in the pictures on our screens now, exactly what you were describing now. One of the manuscripts, uh, they'd seen tendrils uh, just behind the, the script. Now, they almost thought, one of the first theories was that perhaps it was a, it was a flower that they'd actually mm. pressed inside of that, but it wasn't, was it? No, it was actually the image written on, on the parchment first. Uh, and it is half of a fold of parchment that was part of a larger manuscript. They cut them in half and used each half, turning it through 90 degrees in a new, smaller book. And in terms of what they've discovered underneath, what were some of the, the texts? What are the things that uh, had actually been written? Well, they found some... I mean, I'm not part of this project, so I don't have first-hand experience of this, but they found some very early and very important medical treatises which are otherwise unrecorded, uh, and that is always the, the great excitement about palimpsests, as they're called, that you discover what has been rejected, and therefore it may actually be un otherwise unknown. Now tell me a little more about uh, St. Catherine's, because as a monastery, it has the most extraordinary history, doesn't it? It does. Well, it, it is built on the site of the burning bush, um, where Moses saw God, and um, the, there was a small settlement there in the 4th century, which uh, there was a tower there later on, and then in the middle of the 6th century, the Emperor Justinian built a great church, the Catholicon, and defensive walls around it to protect this site, which is one of the, the major sites of Christianity. And in terms of the manuscripts in this vast library, I mean, how difficult is it to preserve them? Uh, the atmosphere there actually works in our favour for once. Uh, in Northern Europe, you have a lot of rain, you have a lot of mist, you have a lot of damp and a lot of insects. Uh, in Halfway up Mount Sinai, it's bone dry, and for that reason, the manuscripts actually have suffered less than they might have done in other places. So we have manuscripts that have been in this climate for 1,200, 1,400 years, um, and which have survived intact. You say 1,400 years. Is that the oldest manuscript they discovered so far, or do some predate that? Well, the oldest manuscript known so far is, in fact, the Codex Sinaiticus, most of which is in the British Library. It has a long and complicated history and was bought from S Stalin by the... British people uh, in the 1930s. Um, that is a, a fourth century manuscript. It's the earliest text of the, Bible, of the New Testament in Greek, and there are some fragments of the Old Testament surviving as well. And in terms of what they hope to uncover here, so presumably they'll use this process to go through any number of documents. I mean, there's a potential here, isn't there, of a, a treasure trove of information to discover. Well, you never know what you're going to find, and it goes back over a hundred years to the two sisters from Cambridge in the, the late 19th century who discovered the earliest text of the New Testament Gospels in Syriac, which was also a palimpsest. So they did that with their naked eyes and with some rather unpleasant reagents to bring out the writing. Now the technology is so much more sophisticated, we can read the undertext without damaging the, the, the leaf itself. As you watch this team go through their work, what are the sorts of things that you hope they end up learning from what we find? It's impossible to predict. You don't know what's going to turn up there. Sometimes it, it is nothing of, of special interest because it's a text that's well known from other copies, but every now and then you find something of which there is no known other copy. So you have something unique in your hands as a text. And the ones they've found so far and examined so far, and we saw uh, there on our screens, most of them are, revolve around some sort of medicinal recipe. 
In this case, uh, I mean, the, 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 the leaves from which these are taken is, are one, just a few of many thousands of, of leaves which were discovered in the monastery in a room uh, in the 1970s, uh, and there are many more to look at. Well, Professor, thank you so much for taking time to come in and explaining some of what they found and some of what they hope to actually discover. Thank